Hey everybody, back in 2021, I covered a piece of software called Free File Sync. And in that demo that I showed installing that, I used the Windows platform. Recently, I had a viewer ask about Linux Mint specifically. So in this video, we're going to run through the install of Free File Sync. We're going to reproduce the problem that this viewer had, and we're going to show two different ways to solve that problem. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the Free File Sync website on the virtual machine. As you can see, it's running Mint. This is a fresh install of Mint that I did this morning. We're going to go to Download. We're going to select Linux and it's going to download. Minimize that and we'll open the terminal. We're going to move to the downloads folder and see what we've got in here. We're going to extract the file. And as you can see, it's got a .run file. We're going to make that executable. And now we can run the installer. Accept the license terms, yes. The options shown, if you hit the number, it is going to change the option. This is defaulting to install for all users. The installation directory is slash opt slash free file sync. And it's going to create desktop shortcuts. Now, the problem this person had was that it didn't create the shortcuts. So we are going to replicate that. So we're going to change option three to no and hit enter to begin installation. And it's going to go through the installer and that is finished. Now, as you can see, there are no icons on the desktop. There are two ways that we can resolve this issue. Number one, we can come onto the desktop, right click, create new launcher. We're gonna call the first one free file sync. We're gonna browse. We're going to go back to the root directory, opt, free file sync and free file sync. We're going to change the icon. Search for free file sync and select the preferred icon and say okay. And we're going to say no to adding it to the menu. And you would repeat this process for the real time sync. The second way you can get the icons on the desktop is to rerun the installer. Once again, you agree to the terms of service and change number three. So it says yes and enter to begin installation. And now you've got icons on the desktop. As you can see, solving an issue like this can sometimes be trivial on Linux, just the way it is on Windows or Mac OS. A lot of it comes down to understanding the problem and trying to find a solution for it. In this case, there are two relatively simple solutions for this problem. And while this video is not intended to be a full tutorial on free file sync, you can refer to the previous video, which I will link up here, I guess, um, one of these places. And you can go through the same steps that were done in that video on Linux or on Mac OS, wherever you might be running free file sync. And so that will bring us to the end of another video. 
if you got something out of this, please do what you need to do down below the video. And thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.